Hello, hello, and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Jackie, and I am going to teach you today how you can create this epic post for your Instagram. And so I posted this this week. I want to show you what it looks like. Um, where it's this cute little animation. I say cute, it's, it's got a picture of me on it. This animation, whether you call, think it's cute or not, regardless, um, this animation where it kind of really is great at capturing people's attention. I wanted to make sure for this that people knew what I was doing. Like it was a giveaway, it was a really important giveaway in my business and I wanted people to really see it and capture it and think, oh, what's that? And that's exactly what it did. I got some really cool feedback on it. And so this is it's so simple to do. All I did was do this in Canva and I wanna show you how I did this today. So I'm going to go into this template. And so all I did was create four slides that were identical, but just moved me around as the person on the middle of the slide. Got a funky cloud glitch happening there. But other than that, it's working really great. So in Canva, pretty much each of these uh, pages is its own slide frame inside the animation. And so today we're going to create this animation together so that you can have a post that's gonna really stand out in your business. Obviously you can design and lay this out any way that you want. The principles will remain the same. I wanna show you through the principles and then if you want to, you can actually use this as your own template for your own business to do something really cool too. So first things first, if you're not already got your Canva displayed as pages, you wanna do that. So if you see this little arrow here, there's hide pages or show pages. If you don't have this turned on, it kind of just is a scroll if you like that, which is just a lot harder to work with, especially with this kind of thing. So press this little up arrow and it will display your pages as a grid down the bottom rather than scrollies. That's how I call it anyway. And so what you wanna do is create your first design. So in essence, you'll see the differences between these designs is minuscule. We wanna just do small changes so it's not really overwhelming for people to have different looks, but also something that's still dynamic. So here, all I've done, I've got three, four different photos of myself and I've popped them in and everything else is staying the same other than this glitchy cloud, which I'm gonna just fix up now while I'm talking to you. Um, and the color of the text is the only other thing that changes. The placement of the text remains the same and me, I basically remain in the same spot. I'm just changing my, my stance. And so the first thing that would be great to do is having a picture of yourself in a couple of different frames. You could do like 10 frames or you could even just do two frames. So you see here, this is still even quite dynamic and interesting. If I just toggle between these two together, like I could have just stopped there and it would still be interesting. But because I had so many photos, I just kind of made it a bit more dynamic. So you can do that. Or if you don't have a photo of yourself, like if you wanted to do this, you just sit like your phone camera somewhere or if you have a good camera, sit it on somewhere steady and just press the timer feature and take a photo, or you can get someone to take that photo for you and just do slightly different poses. Something that's not like you, you don't want to move around the room, keep your feet grounded in the same spot, but just moving your body a little bit so that you can um, create some dyna dynamicness, it's a great word, inside your design. And so um, if you don't have that, what you could actually do, if I just duplicate this page, I could duplicate this and actually just use this flip feature to flip me horizontal, pop myself back in the center here and let's say we'll change this color again to this one. You'll see if I notice to toggle between these two, it's the exact same photo, I just flipped it, but it's still interesting. So that could be an option for you as well if you don't have heaps of um, heaps of photos of yourself to use. But to do this in general, I'm gonna start from scratch for you so you can watch me as I, as I kind of create this out. You wanna add in your photo. So for me, I've got this photo here. All I did was press edit photo and background remover. Removing the background just makes it a lot easier to have it less less stuff going on in the back. Like if you slightly move the camera a little bit, you can just remove the person on the outside rather than it looking a little bit um, glitchy, but you can absolutely use the same, especially if you've got the camera in the same spot, you can keep the background on there. Then I wanna add in my text. You wanna do all of this first before you duplicate your slides and create all the variations because you want the background to be identical. So I'm gonna say um, giveaway just to keep things simple. Giveaway then all I did was go to the effects and I curved this like so. And I also added in an outline to the design. I just made that really thick and made it into white. I'm just gonna do that white here and then I'll change the color of the font to being maybe this one here and move that up here then I just put myself being on top of this design you can do that by going to position and drag it on top just to create a little bit of depth and a bit of layering to my design and then doing the classic that I always do of just adding in your brand elements to that so I'm going to just add in this purple background into the background maybe make that a bit more transparent and colorful doo -doo -doo. then maybe adding in a cloud maybe adding in a bubble Whatever you kind of want, you can kind of just add in whatever your brand elements are and zhuzh it up as you kind of need to, or you can keep it really simple. It's truly really up to you what your branding is. Then once you're happy, what you want to do is then duplicate this design. So I'm going to right click on the design, press duplicate, and it's made a second version of this down here. What I want to do is make my minuscule changes. So I'm going to go back to my photos 
and insert the another version of me, which I think this one here is different. So I'm gonna press edit photo and again, remove the background. Now I wanna line this up as closely as I can with the original photo. So I'm gonna drag this down, pop it around there. To double check sometimes you can fiddle with the transparency and kind of just pop yourself half, half. And so you can kind of, sometimes I like to either arrange the eyes or the mouth, but I'm moving quite a lot in these. So I'm just gonna to try to make sure I'm the same kind of height, um, maybe about there, make it full transparency again, and then delete the old version. So I think that's this one here. And you can see now, if I toggle, whoops, toggle between these two, then I've already got some cool thing going on. But you'll see there's a mistake that I've made and that's not putting the cloud on top of me for this second, where I go here. So you see I'm on top of the cloud here, but I'm behind the cloud here. So I just need to make sure that stays consistent. So I'm gonna bring myself to being behind there. Um, and then I could also change the font to being a different color. I could do this or I could do this. Or if you wanna be really fancy, you could actually change each color as you go. So say for example, I could make this um, the, per the blue color that I had it. And I could even make like this next color. Say if I go in here, I could make the G a peach color. And then with this one here, I could make the I the peach color. And I could kind of just work through, like you can see here that I could make the colors kind of work through each, each letter and work all the way around. To do that, you would just duplicate these two, press duplicate and kind of duplicate as many of the letters that there is. And then I would go through and then just go through and change, ideally I'd just make this blue and then change this one to being the V. And then I'm just gonna do this and let you fast forward so you don't have to watch me and go through this. All right, last one, that was a tedious process. I don't recommend that, but I think the result will be nice. You can see here. And then this would just repeat over and over again like this with the design flipping through. I think that one looks pretty cool. So the next step is going to be changing the duration of these slides. Cause right now, if I was to press play, so if I go to the duration button down the bottom here, it brings up the play button here, which is so, so helpful. If I press play, you see that it's actually is playing through. You can see the little timestamp, the, 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 um, the timeline moving along. It's actually going really, really slow because each of these slides is five seconds long, which is far too long. So I'm going to turn off duration because I don't like that view. I'm going to highlight all of these slides by holding, by clicking the first one, holding down shift on my keyboard and then holding down the last one. And you'll see that it's put that purple box around all of them, which means they're all selected. Then we're going to up here to the edit timing section. If I press that, I can actually write in here 0.2 and that's going to make each of those slides 0.2 of a second long and I pressed enter um, and instead of five seconds long. So now I'm going to go back to the duration part and move my time, my cursor up to here, press play and you see that it's moving far faster, which is exactly what we want. So to save, I want you to go to share and then press download and then you want to have MP4 selected. MP4 is a really great video format for Instagram. You could also save this as a GIF, particularly if you wanted to put this on a newsletter, for example, GIFs are really great formats to display in newsletters. Um, but for me, I'm going to, this is an example of an Instagram post. So I'm going to just do a MP4 file. You can just leave the quality the same if that suits what your needs are. Um, and then you can go to here and what you want to do is type in the page number of the version that you've selected here. So, or you can actually just go through and untick these. So I'm going to unselect all of these. I can just go down here and tick all the ones that I want to save. So all the ones that are in part of your video, if you haven't got heaps of slides that you're not going to use, then you won't need to do this. You can just select all. I'm just going to select all of these and I'm going to press done and download and I'll show you what our end result is shortly. Um, so I'm going to give this to you as a template. I'm going to delete all of these now. The template you're going to get to use, it looks like this. So you're going to see a picture in the middle, which you can replace with your own image. Please don't use a picture of me. <laughs> I'm going to give this to you, but you don't own this picture. So don't use that. Um, and then add in your own business and your own branding, which again is hopefully different to mine so that you're unique and not, not just copying me. And you can change this font to being your own brand font. You can keep the outline here or you can not, it's totally up to you. Um, and then you can just either do the two slides like a got here or you can add in more and more slides ideally you'd actually just delete this slide that this this second slide and then work on so what I would do is I'd delete this slide and then I'd work on this slide editing the, the photo the colors adding in the background adding in your own brand fonts adding in your own text and then duplicating that and duplicating it as you go and making those tweaks and variations to make it dynamic so now my moving slide has, has started I wanted to show you exactly what this looks like Beautiful. And what this is going to do is actually repeat itself automatically inside Instagram. If you wanted it to repeat for yourself, then what I would actually just do is this. Grab your two slides and shift and select both of them and then right click and press duplicate. Then go back and select all of these, duplicate, go back and select all of these, duplicate. 
and that is now going to be a longer animation that you can just play and it doesn't have to repeat itself. But GIFs will automatically repeat themselves and an MP4 loaded into Instagram, particularly as a carousel, like I've done for this one here. I've got a few posts then after this that will then repeat itself automatically. But if you're doing this as a reel, I would make sure that you duplicate it quite a few times once you're hundred percent finished and make sure that it's actually gone at least three seconds long in total, which would take a little while considering each of these is only point, point 0.2 of a second long. So just do that own maths and t test things out before you, before you go to town and finish those off. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you found that one helpful. If you use this template or if you use this technique, I would love to see it. Feel free to maybe pop a comment in the description below with a link to your Instagram or your whatever you, wherever you share this graphic. I would love to see it. It'd be so, so cool. And if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram. My handle is white deer GD. Um, and we can hang out there and you can see even more tutorials, see what I'm offering and see how you can, we can even maybe work together because I'm not just a YouTube tutorial person. I am also a business owner who loves to teach business owners how they can really create their own business brand and graphics. And I would love to help you and equip you as well. Um, anyway, that's all from me today. Thank you for being here. And in the comments, I would love you to put um, just something really, really random because I want to get to know you all. I feel like I've been keep on talking to this screen but and I don't get to know who's actually watching. So could you just let me know where you're tuning in from? Let me know whether it's your state or your country or your town, if you want to be so specific. Um, and we can say hi all the way from Australia, Victoria. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool that we can have such a worldwide audience and I love and appreciate you being here. So thank you. I hope you found this one helpful. And yeah, and again, if you, if you create this one, feel free to let me know in the comments below and the, the template for this will be in the description. So enjoy. Bye.